Welcome to the Flex Farm assembly video. The first thing you'll need to do is to decide where to set up. The ideal spot is in a temperature controlled room with at least 3 feet by 6 feet of level, hard floor space and a standard ceiling height. Position near a three prong electrical outlet. It's a good idea to choose some place with a nearby water source. For assembly, you will only need a Phillips head screwdriver. We recommend unpacking both the Flex Farm boxes before you start. Please note, the black bulb head seals on the tanks are not packaging and should remain on the tanks. Locate the caster unit and set the right and left sides of the caster frame side by side on the floor, wheel side down. Line up the holes and insert the cotter pin through the overlapped holes. Turn the tanks over and align them to connect with the drainage valve. Connect the 3 4 inch vinyl tubing attached to the back of both tanks to the drainage valve. Loosen the clamps on the drainage valve. Then hand tighten each end of the drainage valve around the 3 4 inch vinyl tubing and ensure the drainage valve is in the closed position. A hair dryer can be used to soften the tubing if you're having a difficult time attaching the tanks properly. Place the tanks on the caster unit, aligning the caster frame to the grooves in the bottom of the tanks. When properly assembled, the drainage valve will be positioned directly above where the caster unit halves are attached to one another. Attach one tank knob to each tank lid by inserting a screw inside each lid's pilot hole. Then, twist on the knob by hand or with a Phillips head screwdriver until tight. Identify the left tank and right tank lids. The left lid has a small round hole in addition to the large oval opening. Put the tank lids on the tanks. Position the tank knobs towards the front where the caster opens. Push firmly down on all the edges to ensure a secure fit. Open the box containing the submersible pump. Select the half inch fitting and screw it into the pump. Set the pump on top of the left tank lid and thread the power cord down through the large oval opening and then back out of the tank through the small round opening in the lid. Identify the end of the vertical irrigation line without the valve. Insert this end into the tank through the round opening. Pull the vertical irrigation line out of the tank through the large oval opening and connect to the pump's half inch fitting. Place the pump into the pump filter bag, allowing the power cord and vertical irrigation line to exit the bag. Tie the pump filter bag close and place the pump into the bottom of the tank through the oval opening. Gently pull the vertical irrigation line and power cord exiting the tank to position the pump near the back of the tank. Place the lid plugs on the left and right oval tank openings on the lids. Gather the root chambers, panels, drip lines, and top caps. Identify the side of the root chamber without notches. Insert that side into the tank through a slot in the tank lid. Repeat until all eight root chambers are inserted into the tank. A properly installed root chamber will rest flat and fit around the raised area located on the bottom of the tanks with all notches pointing upwards. Remember to insert each panel tab side first into the root chambers. Align the drip line with the top of the root chambers so the valves are at the front of the flex farm, and the drip line holes line up with the plant spaces. Press the drip line into the root chambers to lock into place. The left drip line will have a Y fitting attached to the vinyl tubing on the opposite side from where the valve is attached. Connect the Y fitting attached to the left drip line to the right drip line. Connect the bottom of the Y fitting to the vertical irrigation line attached to the pump. Secure the drip lines in place by installing a top cap on each root chamber. Now it's time to add the light tower. Locate the light tower base and three pins and set them aside. Carefully lay the light tower down with the handle facing upwards. Remove the packaging, including the round foam piece at the bottom of the light tower. Then, remove the three pins from the light tower base and set them within reach. While the light tower is laying on the ground, lift up the bottom of the light tower and slip on the base. Turn until one side is flat on the ground and the pinholes align. Insert the pin securely and repeat the process for the remaining two pins. Grab the light tower by the handle and stand it up. Set the light tower in between the flex farm tanks with the power cord positioned in the same direction as the drainage valve. When the light tower is positioned correctly, it should fit inside the half circle cutouts located on the tanks and the handle should be facing where the flex farm opens for easy access. Set aside the black plugs. These will be required for Flex Farm growing setup. Refer to the grow guide for use. Congratulations! Your Flex Farm is now assembled. To get started growing, reference the grow guide that came with your Flex Farm shipment. For warranty and return information, please visit your My Account page on Farmative. You can also access the Grow Center in your Farmative account for all your growing resources.